So much love the fact that celebrities are coming out with their food chairs. Gone are those days whereby celebrity used to phone crew, ah, this is my uh, fellow actor, I cannot call him out even when he's doing wrong. Yes, Zubi Maike is one of those few actors that I respect so much with my food chairs. Yes, I respect him a lot. He has come and blasted Yun Edoche. He told him specifically, grow up man, you are childish. Your attitude depicts that of a teenager. How can you allow a woman who is not even as half beautiful as your wife, you know, mess up your whole life all because you cannot control your manly desire? Look at the level that you have placed yourself in. You have been made a caricature by all and sundry. Everybody speaks bad about you. That you, Edoche, you are where you are today is as a result of your father's influence. And now what did you do to it? Instead of you to sustain it, you ended up, you know, pulling the name to the ground. You, Edoche, who was once respected, is now made a caricature, is now made a mockery by all and sundry that he pities the wife and the children because when when a madman is busy you know displaying his madness on outside it is the family members that get to be shy because obviously Yul Edoche is now mad he is meant he is no longer normal if he's normal how will you tell me that you will just all of a sudden decide that you don't want to have anything to do with your own family again because of you Judy Austin even the brands that you were assigned to you no longer do the work that they sent you to do and because of that they took away their ambassadorial ship and now you are not busy moving from one place to another looking for influencing work of small small money that you are supposed to leave for your junior actors and doing the work for them you can imagine even went to ahead as you know competing with the wife may we all know that may has a skincare brand which is she's an ambassador and she's really doing a great work at that to make the product known so that people will consume it and then she will make more money and then the husband has the f1 tree to compete the wife by you know influencing for another brand thank god for social media users thank god for online users who came in for him and told him Plainly, in simple English, Oga, we are not going to buy this product. We do not like what you're advertising. How can you be fighting your wife? This is unhealthy. What kind of unhealthy competition is this? It has not dawned on you that your time has passed. Your relevance in the society is no more. In fact, you are not made a laughing stock. So why should we listen to you? Why should we purchase anything that you say? Or why should we, you know, take anything that you say serious? Somebody that can't even stay with one woman is telling us what to do. Those are the words that they've told you, Edoche, and he's still, you know, getting being told more words to come. You, Edoche, no longer wants to, you know, uh, go into politics because he realized that, not because he wouldn't have been a good politician, but because he has used his hand to kill his career in politics. And now, in the movie industry, in the entertainment industry, uh, Judy Austin is helping him to kill the, his career the more. What is going to be his fate in two years to come when he's not known, when nobody knows him again? Because the name is gradually going into extinction. I just pity for him and I pity for his lifestyle. Then we know that Kenneth Okonkwo and a whole lot of others have come and ambushed him and told him that he should retrace his step. But can I or can I? But he has refused to understand or he has refused to pay heed to them because he felt that they are competing with him. But what is there to compete with? Is it Judy Austin that is a bag of rice or a bag of gary? Why should you be competing with a woman that is not worth it? They have told him that this woman that you are funny is not worth it. It's not worth your career. It's not worth your life. And this woman is going to give you domination, doom, early dooms, and is already affecting him. So thank you very much, Zubi Maike, for talking to him. I hope he listens, because obviously he doesn't listen to everybody, anybody anymore. He just reasons with his anus now, or whatever Judy Austin tells him to do. That is basically what he does. Let us just see how it goes in this, you know, his escapade. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please kindly give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and also turn on your post notifications so that whenever a new video is being uploaded, you'll be among the first.